So back this past winter, we had these two birch trees right behind me that are kind of hanging over the yard. It's blowing, it's cold. Trees are bent over. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can get in closer. Everywhere like that, that's a birch. Birches do that. We'll probably have to cut that one because typically once they bend over like that, they do not stand back up, at least not all the way. They were just bowing right over and touching the ground. And we plow through here and it makes it kind of difficult to get the plow in. You're hitting that tree and uh, we want to get those cleaned up. I was going to use my little steel GTA 26 chainsaw to do that. So I was just going to show you they're pretty big around. They probably are a little too big for my chainsaw, but I know I can do it because I've done it before. So we're going to go ahead and cut those down and uh, use them for firewood and some little pieces for the fire pit and stuff like that. So let's get it cut down. So everybody's uh, loving the, the wood chips from me cutting up the wood. They love picking through that. Just sneak around them here. So there's the two, is that one and that one. I cut that one up a little higher because it was so thick. And uh, I wanted my battery, save my battery to cut up the wood. So I went up a little higher where it wasn't so big around. But that's all right, it's way down over the bank. It's not like it's gonna bother. But at least those trees are gone now, so they're not hanging over the hanging over where we plow or hanging over the yard. So when we plow in the winter time, we don't get uh, a tree in our face or whatever, because they do hang over when they get heavy. So that part's done.
since we're talking about trees, I wanted to show you our trees uh, that we lost all the leaves off from right after spring and they just popped out and we had green leaves everywhere and all of a sudden caterpillars came along. We've got a terrible amount of caterpillars that have hatched out. There's some under that leaf right there. See that? They're awful and they're everywhere. They're all over the trees. You could see all the holes that they're putting. So the caterpillars that we had around are starting to dwindle. We don't have as many, but they have eaten all the leaves off this tree and several trees. They've been working on all these, that tree over there, several all through the woods, several like this one down here next to that one, all the way around these trees way up there. They've defoliated lots of the trees around here and ate the leaves off several trees. This one being one of them, this big oak tree. Totally defoliated this tree. This one next to it here, as you can see, it's still uh, working on growing its leaves back. We were very worried that this was going to kill the trees since they had already leaved out and there was nothing uh, indicating that that would come back, the leaves would come back. Probably a week and a half to two weeks after the trees were defoliated, they started to grow buds and now they're leaved back out. But now we are left with these tiny little moths because the caterpillars went into cocoon stage and hatched out and now they're little moths. There's one flickering here, over there. They are everywhere. They're all over. If you were to go in the woods and just disturb the woods at all, uh, they would just come fluttering out and like crazy. So from what we're told, it may happen again next year. Hopefully it doesn't happen the year after because it's usually they said, and I'm saying they, it's just different people that have talked about it. Um, they said that three years in a row of being defoliated, trees start to die off if they can't uh, keep their leaves. So we're hoping that things straighten out. We are starting to get our leaves back, thank goodness. Some of them are still a little bit naked, this one next to the oak tree. But we're pretty happy that they're coming back. <laughs>